Hi, this is Spencer Ingley from the Fish development team. In this video I'm going to show you how to download uh, the Anyfish editor, uh, then open up that Anyfish editor and create a new project file. So to download the Anyfish editor, first go to the Anyfish wiki. Uh, and right here there's an Anyfish editor program download option. If you click there, you can get the newest version, which will be right here. Uh, you could also look at previous uh, versions if you wish, although I recommend uh, generally downloading the newest version, as the older versions are typically maintained there for, for development purposes. Uh, you can also download TPS Transformer here, which I discussed in a previous video. Uh, so I already have it downloaded and installed, so I won't go through that program or through that process. Uh, but if you click here and follow the instructions, uh, you shouldn't have any issue uh, installing the actual AnyFish editor program. So once you install AnyFish Editor, it will it will come in a folder, which will have AnyFish uh, PC, which this, this is the PC version and the date of that build. So open that folder, and we go ahead and blow this up. So open that folder, and you'll see that there is an AnyFish uh, data folder, another data folder, and the actual executable file. So in this data folder, uh, you'll see that. Uh, well, the main thing that you'd be concerned with here is the projects folder. So once you create a project, that project will show up in this folder. And within this folder, you will find fin a fin folder, paths folder, textures folder, and TPS folder. So whenever you're creating uh, fin textures, uh, or if you have a pre-designed path, or if you're borrowing a path from somebody and they email you the path file, uh, or you're creating a texture, applying a new texture, or a TPS to, to, to change the shape uh, of your actual animation, this is where those files go. Anyfish comes with pre-installed defaults uh, for both Stickleback and Swordtail Fish, uh, but you can adjust those according to your research needs and apply uh, whatever images or TPS files you need um, to these folders within the project folder. Again, these project, this project folder will not appear until you create the actual project. So I'll show you how to create that project, and then I'll come back here and show you how uh, to, to locate those project folders for the fins, the TPS guides, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this AnyFish executable. And this opens as a Unity executable. Uh, the first thing that will pop up is this AnyFish editor configuration. Uh, so this allows you to set the screen resolution. In this case, I'm just going to go with the highest available. Uh, windowed or non-windowed just uh, determines whether or not it blows up into the, your full screen, or it's actual, or it's an actual window that you can that you can move around uh, on your home screen here. Graphics quality you can set here anywhere from fastest to fantastic. Uh, if you're going to output uh, an animation, I would suggest doing a higher resolution. And in this case, I'm just going to do fastest. Uh, once you've assigned, once you've uh, set up the screen resolution and the graphics quality, hit play, and your Unity window will open. So once you get to this main screen, there there are two different options: create a new project or load a pre-existing project. So if you have a, a pre-existing project that that you have loaded in your projects folder, uh, you can click the box that, that describes that project and then do load project and all of the all of the paths and everything that comes associated with that project will will load in the AnyFish editor. Uh, otherwise you can create a new project and it will create uh, a new project folder that will contain all of those uh, subfolders. So this is helpful because it for, for example if you're sharing paths or uh, projects with uh, a collaborator, the collaborator can send you the projects folder, you can drop it in uh, the actual project folder, you can drop it in the projects folder, the AnyFish editor uh, folder, and then it will show up here in this menu and you can load it and see everything that they've done. So in this case I'm going to create a new project. So it will prompt me to enter a project name. I'll just do demo project. Click OK. And this tells me that a new path folder has been created and it tells me the path of that actual project folder. So you can see now that this demo project shows up as one of the options. I'm going to go ahead and click that box and load project. So here in this main menu, I'll, I'll go through these options in greater detail in other videos. 
but you're, what you should mainly be concerned with is selecting your fish model, which here we have sticklebacks or piece of leads. In this case, uh, I'm going to look at the piece of lead default. Uh, when you copy textures into the folder, they'll show up here as options. And you can again click those boxes and choose whichever textures uh, you want to use in creating your animation. Same thing with fish paths. If you designate, if you have a, a pre-designated fish path, you can download it. Uh, into the fish paths folder and it'll show up here. Uh, also the same with TPS. So this will show your different TPS shapes that you've provided. In this case I haven't put any of that information in the new folder so when I create a new path everything will be brand new and, and run from the default. So I'm going to go ahead and create new path and enter demo path click OK and then it'll pop up and allow me to edit that demo path. And once I save this path, uh, once I create a path and do save and exit, uh, then that path file will show up in the paths folder. Okay, So I'm not going to run through all the steps right now of creating an actual path. I'll show you really quickly that you can, uh, you can see this is the default image that comes up in this build, which is just a sword tail. And once you add your own uh, fin files or your, your main body texture and your TPS shape images, that will all change. So we go ahead and close this down. Save and exit. Close the program. And navigate into the projects folder. Here's the demo project that we just created. You can see here now that there's this demo project XML, which is the actual project file. TPS folder, which is currently empty, a textures folder, which is currently empty, a paths folder, which has the demo path.xml that I just created, and an empty fins folder. So again, all the default pulls up uh, according to the model that you select, whether it's a piece of lead or stickleback, until you uh, fill these folders with your actual files. So that is how you create a project. Uh, and 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 navigate all the the project subfolders uh, using the AnyFish editor program. In the next video, I'll talk about the next step in this process, which is actually actually creating uh, your AnyFish video.